Bandung, a city of 2.5 million residents, known for its famous nickname Paris Van Java, since the age of Dutch colonial empire. The third largest city on the most populated island in Indonesia has been growing as a metropolitan area through its remarkable character of landscape, climate, scenery, and its people. Today, Bandung claims itself as a developing smart city. The mayor Ridwan Kamil takes an important role in designing the future city through physical and social elements. His breakthrough initiatives are rejuvenating the public spaces, thematic parks, improving city center, social events, and gimmick days. However, this action would fulfill the city's tertiary needs, while some of primary demands are left uncontrolled. This is the main challenge. A series of contemporary urban problems are likely decaying the dreams of a future smart city. Population, the word may likely to haunt every developing countries. Bandung itself has an increasing population of more than 100,000 every year. The growth is undeniably amazing yet surely questioning the city comfort. Housing development has been a major challenge on fulfilling every citizen's demands. High-class apartments are spreading throughout the city while slums are left untouched. In a great view, class diversity are often pictured easily. This is what we call social cohesion. Every citizen deserves a proper place for living. The price for an ideal house surrounded by ideal built environment has extremely flushed for the past few years. Not everyone in this beautiful city favored a great luck in terms of economy. Land use for dwellings doesn't fit the exact category of evective. People are still applying low-density land use. The crisis is real whether the government doesn't provide the ideal housing for everyone nor the people are not ready to change their way of life. The issue of urban sprawl was generated from unintegrated development throughout the area. Facing a great deal of problems was infrastructure. Traffic, people's everyday first problems. With overloaded volume of vehicles, Bandung is the next great metropolitan in the nation. Transit-oriented development concept has not been working out. Picture by a chaotic mass transportation system versus car-dependent communities. Regulation is not the only one to blame because file behavior was born before four ages ago. The big question is, how do we prepare the society to be ready for a good structure? Environment was once human's best friend. Never-ending physical developments in the city causes a great deal of collapsing the nature. Floods have been impacting South Bandung for the past few years caused mainly by uncontrolled waste system. Bandung is a landlocked city on a valley with a few river networks. Surely an innovative water treatment system is indeed in favor. Otherwise, it would not be possible if floods are coming every year.
Littering is widely common in this city. Contaminated river, dirty streets, clogged sewer, only few problems that are just piling up day by day. Local communities are struggling to help people managing their waste in a good way. Challenge awaits. People need to work together as a team to solve all distinctive issues. When we lose our grip to this beloved city, who is going to save it? Being smart is not only planning and managing in a good way. Creativity and hard work are the key. When the others are walking, we need to keep running. Smart city requires smart people to achieve it. Are we ready to be the agent of change?